Dustin Johnson, six under 64. Dustin, a great round of golf. What was working well today? Um, I drove it really well and, you know, controlled the distance with the irons really good. Other than, other than the last hole, I was about the only, didn't really hit a bad shot. Just pulled it a little bit and went a lot further than I thought, but still was in an okay position to get it up and down and hit a nice putt too. The, it, was, it was a little rude that that one didn't go in, but, um, yeah, obviously, I you know, I swung it really nicely today and hit a lot of good shots. What did your prep look like this week, and did the course feel like it was a good fit for your game? Yeah, I like the golf course. Um, you know, it, obviously today they didn't have it set up all the way back, um, like I would imagine it will be probably the next three days. But, um, yeah, I mean, it's, you know, the golf course is in perfect condition. I really like it. You know, you just have to, you have to drive it well here if, or you have no chance. We're going to open up the questions. Bob? When you see a couple of 62s up there or, or almost finished off when you're getting started, does it change your strategy at all? Are you thinking I've got to be a little bit more aggressive? No, I mean, not really. You know, I mean, obviously the guys went out this morning and you could you could tell the greens were a little bit more receptive than they have been. But, um, yeah, I mean, it seems like, ever you know, it was two eight-unders and then the next one was, was a three. So it's not, you know, of course is it. You know, it's not really that gettable. Obviously, if you if you play really well and hit it in the right spots, and you know you can be aggressive. There's some, you know, you get a few wedges in your hand, but you still gotta you still gotta hit a really good golf shot if you want to get it close to the hole. And um, yeah, but you know, today obviously with the setup, it was uh, it was definitely you know somewhat gettable if you if you drove it really well. Rex, did you have a score in mind at all earlier in the week after playing? couple of practice rounds and did you think 62 was out there um no i did not see eight under but um you know in the practice rounds too we're playing it on the back edge every tee box and you know i felt like the greens were hair more receptive than they they have been in the practice rounds um you know but you know the course was you know was set up really nicely today and then obviously the part threes they had I think they had all of them up a little bit today, so which made those play quite a bit easier. Um, but like I said, I would imagine the next few days you're going to see the golf course. It's just going to—I mean—they can set it up as hard as they want to. And what was the club on nine, your last hole? Um, it was—I was trying to hit a, just a soft cut with a five, and I pulled it a hair. And, but it's the reason I hit it is because I didn't think it took the left bunker out of play. I did not think the bunker on 18 was in play. Stay here with Alex. I was okay with it going in the you know in the fairway back there and you know just just over the green, but um, back there where I was, I didn't, I didn't even see that that was in play. You indicated that the the tees were up somewhat up today. If they take them back where you think they will normally take them back to, you think it's going to make that much of a difference? I mean, it, it definitely makes the par threes a lot a lot harder, and you know, but you know the flags were in you know fairly generous spots for the most part and you know so they the course was set up really good you know obviously you can see the scores if you drive it well the guys you know hitting a lot of fairways they're they're playing well I mean that's just what it is out here you got to hit fairways and, and one other thing do you think you have an advantage on a course like this the way it's set up in regards to your cut no, because I mean you can hit pretty much any shot you want on 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 all the holes. You know, there's enough room off the tee where it doesn't force you to hit a shot one way or the other. Dylan, what would be the ideal setup for you? Like, if you were in charge and you were trying to make it the perfect setup for Dustin Johnson, like, would it be as hard as possible? Or, I mean, it doesn't really matter. I don't, I don't care. However, they want to set it up, it's fine with me. I mean, if you're playing well, it doesn't really matter the setup. Is there anything, uh, is there anything about it being a U.S. Open in your mind that means it has to be set up a certain way? No, I mean, I think if you look at the venues over the last seven or eight years or ten years, you know, they're all different and they're all set up different. And you know, I think this course is is great. It's a great venue. It's it's in perfect condition, and you know, and it's uh, you know, feels like a U.S. Open. And then what were your expectations going into this week and, and where are they now? Yeah, I mean, I had a great, uh, you know, 
great uh, practice, you know, leading into it, and you know, been been playing pretty solid. Uh, you know, obviously won in Tulsa a few weeks ago, but um, the game's been trending in the in the right direction, and obviously I feel really comfortable over the golf ball right now. We're gonna go front right. Bryson said earlier today that he feels like there's maybe not as much tension out there among the players and among everything, considering that a lot of the off the course golf stuff got resolved in the last week. Did you sense that at all? I mean, not for me, but, um, you know, I feel like I've always had a good relationship with the guys and, you know, through it all, obviously now, yeah, I mean, you know, sure, I could see see that point of view, absolutely. Stay on the right back here. A lot of guys played well today. What is it that you think that is about this course that saw so many low numbers and why do you like this course? Yeah, I mean, well, the greens are perfect. Um, you know, the course is in really good condition and it's it's a golf course you know like i said if you if you hit if you're hitting the fairways you can you know you can get it close to the flags on on some of the holes last question right here knowing the scores today and what the course looked like and expecting things to get a little bit tougher as the weekend progresses do you have a number in mind and what you think you might need to shoot to stay in contention um no i just try to shoot as low as i can every day what that number is at the end of the week i have no idea Dustin, thanks for your I time. I wish I could <laughs> predict that, though. That would be nice.